Look at this thing. What a good looking machine. It's got an interesting tire combo on it. I like different tires. <sighs> These ones, they roll really nice. They're fun to drive out on the street, so. Just a little ripper. So I heard a rumor yeah. That you're doing that you're doing some stuff. Yeah. Justin. So I'd like to blame Joey for this because he used to work at Evo and yeah. he's like right. talks about all this cool stuff from Evo. And then we get all the stuff on the Maverick R and I'm like, man, I want some cool Evo stuff. Feeling I got a little left out. There. I mean I already did the biggest mod that you can do. Okay. And that's uh this Oh right my you know? gosh. And from there on out, it's just <laughs> it's just little things from there. Race so, car you're telling me. Yeah, I just got some little stuff that, uh, <laughs> just here. Justin and I buy Turbo R's on the same day. I feel like he's trying to flex this on me, dude. dude. I've never I been done. <laughs> never, no, no, because the day after we bought it, he already had a tune in his. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That is true. I did do you. A I did do him a little dirty on that one. I was like, oh, we can't get tunes for these yet. You know, I wouldn't. So I about it. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get him now. No, then he's got two steps. He just blows him. <laughs> so Justin's fighting back. Yeah. He's doing doing some stuff, so. It seems like Justin's putting more power at his car for, is there anything soon maybe coming for that you're putting power yeah. at? Yeah. You can come watch it too, race day. Oh yeah. Oh man, I'm excited for that. It's gonna so, come quickly. Yeah, I got a big spring for this too, so I can go with 3200 RPM engagement with launch control, so. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. Yeah. I see what's going on here. Okay, yeah. so out with it. What are you, what are you doing? All right, so. We got an exhaust. I actually bought that a while ago, just haven't put it on yet. Ah, okay. And then we have a air-to-air -air intercooler system. Big dog intercooler. I haven't even seen one on one of these yet, so I'm pretty excited. It's basically, so when your motor starts to get heat soaked and the way the air-to-water system is now that you lose power. Yeah. And this is supposed to help you not lose as much power. So this is a really cool thing and kind of new. Not something you're used to seeing on a turbo razor. So for you guys that aren't familiar with these, we'll just go over it real quickly. Polaris chooses to cool their intake charge with an air to water setup. So inside this intake is this intercooler brick. It slides right down in the intake. The incoming air passes through it and then water is also going through it to control that intake air temperature so a couple interesting things about that is this is you know the coolant temperature gets high so you're only cooling the intake air yep. so much once everything heats up also in your intake track you just have this giant you know intercooler in there and which it's we've a had bit of a break. past happen is these things over time do tend to fail and what it does is it just pushes all the coolant into your motor they do tend to fail sometimes and i think there's some restriction yeah. there too, so maybe it's robbing a little bit of power. So Justin is going to ditch that and put a big old air-to-air -air intercooler right up there. As the word on the street. My cage. I guess I didn't measure that one. Well, we'll make. <laughs> we'll, we got tools. We'll all make right. something. We'll yeah. make something fit. So you'll be all right. Just hammered out. You'll be it should right. be fine. Also, we did some dyno runs earlier on a 3R93 tune. Yeah, we did stock and then we did, a 3R. Yeah. We did yep. back to back to back runs to kind of prove that as these things heat up that intercooler and the coolant and all this stuff heats up, it starts dropping power pretty quickly, pretty rapidly. So when you're out on the dunes or whatever, you will notice some power loss. <sighs> okay, we made it through that. Let's see these parts, Justin. Oh, you got it. Oh my gosh, this is official. This guy is not playing around. <laughs> That's usually like reading instructions, you know? Yeah. Okay, what do we got first? We got the big spring, the primary clutch so spring. Then we got these rollers for the secondary because the stock ones wear out really fast. Mine were already worn with 300 miles on them. Yep. Yep. Clutch buttons, sliders, you went through two sets of these? I've been through a couple sets of those. Mine again, were already so, had some damage from heat. Upgraded problems. rollers and buttons for both clutches from Evo, good stuff. They're on the parts site probably, I think. Yeah, that's like the most common item for turbo Polaris is yep. those clutch parts. Okay. They run through I don't know what this is. You're supposed to have this Light all up. figured out, man. It looks fun, whatever it is. I like to keep the mystery of what's in the box. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Not the mystery of how to put it on. We okay. Nice packing paper. All right. So looks like we got a oh, harness boy. for the fans. 
Yep. Well, elbow. Oh. And oh, your block look off. Look at that. So you're removing that intercooler brick, and that will definitely free up some air yep. inside of your intake. Yep. Yep. So that's yep. really cool. Very nice. Very nice. What else we what got? Else we Oh, there's your injectors inside of there. <laughs> oh, new injectors, eh? Interesting. Wastegate action. What kind of tune is, is this? Oh, yeah. Am I, I not being told something? One, so I got I, <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's going to be hard to sneak that one by you. So we did do the. Uh, That's why Justin's injector. over here trying to open this box. Like, hey, look over here. Look over here. We got the big injector bundles. We got bigger injectors. We got a fuel pump with a surge. Kit, oh yeah, yeah, the that. search tank kit as well. So, oh, okay. Yeah, another common thing with the Polaris is if you're anything less than like half a tank of fuel, the way that the fuel pump is designed, you know, you're going up a steep hill or giving it a lot of gas on and off the throttle, fuel sloshes around, yep. and uh, it'll start cutting out. So I get a lot of phone calls like that. People think they're getting a misfire when in reality, just a poor fuel pump design. Ain't got no gas on it. Uh, okay, okay. I called Joy a year ago about that with my white razor. <laughs> Same thing. All right, all right. The truth's coming out here. What else we got wow. this box of goodies? Got Holy some moly. random hoses. Okay, that's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, uh, Serious kit that here. That looks like you're, so you do have to relocate your coolant bottle. Okay. So that'll go in the fender because okay. charge tubes will occupy that space. And then this is kind of cool too. They made up a shield for the factory coolant bottle. Ah. Because now it's going to be down in the fender and rocks and stuff. So you're not like throwing a rock so. through it? All right, all right. Cool. What else we got in here? Okay. These got to be the new charge tube. Look at this. That is a beast. Huh? That looks cool. Yeah, so obviously we're moving, you know, moving the intercooler to a completely different location. We got to get air to and fro. These are not just some flimsy little rubber ones, too. I like that. No, nope, good stuff. Custom molded silicone, one piece. That's what you want. Oh, Justin. <laughs> oh, Justin. interesting. My man, what is going is on that here? Old football helmet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put that on. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> All right, so turbo blanket, trying to keep uh, heat away from the intercooler, I oh, imagine. Yep, nice clamps, springs, no, good no stuff. No hose clamps. Yeah, so this actually goes around the You've got the a Milwaukee tube. knife, dude. Hey. <laughs> this actually goes around the charge tube Matt's... because it goes very close to the exhaust. Okay, So that, that goes around the charge tube. It goes around the silicone charge tube. All right, I misspoke, not a turbo mm -hmm, blanket. Mm -hmm, got mm -hmm. it. Cool. Yeah. Well, we got more boxes. Justin's trying to hide more stuff over there. <laughs> Guys. All right, oh. So there's that fuel pump we're talking about. Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll oh, new pump man, assembly. Look at, look at that. Last time you just had to take your other one apart and put the parts in it for the big yep. injector kit. But now you got a complete unit. For got a good one. Okay. Oh, what are we getting into here? Oh, oh boy. That's a unit. There. Oh boy. Watch them wires. Holy smokes. Look at that. That is a big freaking intercooler. That's how you want to intercooler. Wow. You've lost control. Yeah. <laughs> You've lost it. You shooting for like 400 I'm horsepower on this thing? Beforehand. I just took Joy's advice that this is what you need. Yep. Uh, this is what I need. Cool. Look at that though. Just beautiful. Ooh. Giant fab intercooler. I mean, air flows. You heard Feel it. it on the other side, right? Right there. Triple fans, spall fans, quality stuff, nice connectors. This is really cool. You're really going at it here. You're really going at it. <laughs> All right, let's. This is really cool. So, how the heck do you mount that thing? Well, I think the answer Hopefully. is in this box. Big old Jeez Louise. Yeah, so we've seen this kind of bracket before. We've done turbo installs on a couple Pro R's, and it's, you know, it's all just very excellent. This is a similar setup to what they use. Beautiful bracket. Wow. Yeah. Mounts is, up high in the cool air. This is, I guess, actually going to be slightly different from the Pro R ones. It actually has the intercooler laying down instead of... Ah, up like this. interesting. Okay. So I think there's a chance it'll fit with your cage. Oh, There's yeah. got to be a chance. We'll make it fit. Jeez. All right. One more box. One more. I, 
I was confused. I knew he was getting an intercooler, and then I saw a mountain of boxes show up. I, man, I don't. Just the intercooler, but I don't know. <laughs> All right. Oh yes. Three oh, buddy. Three inch turbo <laughs> back. Oh, full With exhaust. I know what's in here. Yep, Captain's yep, yep. Choice. This is like the best exhaust ever. This has always been my choice of exhaust too. So Evolution Power Sports E Captain's Choice. You have quiet mode and then when you want loud horsepower mode, you throw a switch on the dash, go. it opens up this valve, you get a straight through outlet, she's barking, she's making power. And then when you want to chill, you're on the trail, you just shut it off. Yeah. That nice. is sweet. This is sweet. Justin. <laughs> just this is a full build man <laughs> guys really i thought we were just swapping an intercooler and going back on the dyno but that's basically the engine, <laughs> oh the engine that's uh we to show that Doug, you really messed this guy up bad yeah. uh really started something here well hey so is it time to tell him that uh doug has a big turbo kick on oh. <laughs> I was literally waiting for that last spot. <laughs> <I'm> like this guy. <laughs> Maybe next week now by the looks yeah. of things, but well boys, all right, let's get to it, eh? Good little push there. Check this sucker out. She's looking good. Got the big dog intercooler installed. Triple fans. New charge tubes. Just chilling in there. Look at that. Got the nice heat blanket over that one. Got your new injectors. Got your old intercooler block off. Went ahead, deleted all the old air to water intercooler stuff for a nice clean install. Don't need it. No need that crap. That new coolant bottle tucked right up in there. It blends in so well you can't even see it, mostly because the camera won't focus for whatever reason, but trust me, it's in there. That's dark in there. <sighs> Fuel pump, all that good stuff, new flashes in it, crack pressure set. You know what exhaust is on? You know what it's time for? Uh, do a burnout? I think so. Yeah. Let's at least start it and make sure, oh, right. make yeah. sure it runs. That's Great step call. one, you know? <laughs> Let her eat, dude. <laughs> Joseph, cut this out, please. It's me. We did a bad job. It's not running. Please. Oh, buddy. Matt, it was smooth. actually out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> we had to cut for a minute, but yeah, put some gas in it. Turns out, fires right up. Minor technical difficulty. That's pretty cool. Hey. I'm excited now. Sounds good. Probably would sound better if you flip the switch on that old captain's choice, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. There she's thumping. Wow. All right, man, what are you feeling? You trying to go straight the dyno? Or you trying to well, maybe just take this for a little rip first? Well, Mike just took the straps off and just put it on the dyno, so I think we should probably take it outside and just rip. Yeah, just, you know, make sure. Yeah, just in just, case, you know. Yeah. You know, maybe the alignment's off or something. We're just driving down the road for a little while and never, sure everything's good. Never want to go straight to the dyno. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right, listen, so I got to see how this thing runs. I'm considering calling him out Oh, to a race. That'd be a good race. Right, likely he has more horsepower than I do, but... But also, I tuned it and didn't put launch control in it again, so... <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Does he think it has launch control? I don't know. He's gonna know. fry his belt if he hopefully, tries. Hopefully he doesn't, but... <laughs> Like That's it a, makes power. It's a good looking rig too. Oh yeah, she's ripping. Shoo wee! 
Looks pretty dang good. Sounds pretty dang good. Yeah, I might need a little clutch tuning, but gotta consider it's got these small street tires on it as well, which does change things. Appears that he's setting up for something here. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> What do you think, my man? Howdy. It looks good. Yeah. It sounds good. Man, you didn't even give it the pipe bit at all. Oh, yeah. Totally he, forgot. He, he doesn't even know he's got that feature. Gets even rowdier. Oh, my eyes are just <laughs> like crying right now. Cold out. Yeah. It's sunny, but it's also very cold. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that feels good. I it mean, looks good. It looks good. So what do you want, Justin? Do you want to go on the dyno and check dyno numbers with this thing? Or do you want... Do you want your vengeance on the gold turbo R? Ooh. I'll leave it up to you. What do you guys think? Let's take a vote. What do you want to see? I mean, we went down this road because initially Justin said, Doug's been just beating me up since I bought this car, so. Right, I feel like it would be rude not to not to put that on the table if yeah. you want it, yeah. but. Well, yeah, I think that's probably better than a dyno. <laughs> No. Okay, okay, okay. Race, okay. Race, another razor than a dyno. So. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, we ain't racing dynos out there. We've, you know, we've covered that before. So we'll get that thing out, <laughs> see what happens here. I like it. The champion has arrived. He's got so many gold medals, his bodywork is gold. <laughs> Heck yeah. Feels good to have this thing out. I don't know how this race is going to go. Confidence level 50 50 at yeah. best. I think this is maybe still a little bit lighter because I did some lightweight stuff, but I think Justin's got a little more power now. Tires? Who knows? We'll I think the it, tires are going to be the factor here. They're shorter. They have more tread where you need it. Yeah. So... Yeah. I got to be honest with you, Justin. You still don't have launch control, so keep that Ooh, in mind. Ooh, I just thought about that, too. Springs in there on the desk. Keep that in <laughs> mind. <laughs> yeah, All Justin's right. not in his final form yet. I don't know why you're challenging him. Yeah, I feel a little bit bad now, but not that bad. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Woo, boy. We got some Turbo R on Turbo R action. Who's it going to be? They're both uh, barking. <laughs> oh, you can't get much closer than that. Was that Doug by a nose? I think it was I Doug, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Which, that could have very easily just been reaction time. Right. We'll have to run that back. All right, round two. Switching lanes. Oh! Justin by a nose that time. Just the complete opposite. I guess it's gotta be two out of three. They might have to rock, paper, scissors for the lane choice. Yeah. Well, man, good races, but he's definitely pulling on me. Both races. I might have got a little more of a jump on the first one, so it took him a bit longer, but clearly once we get rolling, he's pulling out. Yeah. It's working. So in in favor of best two out of three, I think you guys got a rock, paper, scissors for lane choice. Oh, okay. And do a third race. Okay. For all the marbles. He might have got around me on that first race. I don't know. I couldn't tell. I was worried about when do I need to hit the brake. Right. <laughs> you were in process of passing me. We could run one more. I though. think oh, we had hard. you by like maybe a foot on that first race. Okay. Like it was very close. Okay. But, yep. Okay. If you're counting this as the official finish line. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. So right. we'll run it one more time. Yeah. Probably a good idea. Okay. You know what? I'll give t this is this video is your video. You get lane choice. All right. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this uh, the closest to the shop lane. Shop lane. All right. Left lane. Let's yeah. run them again. Yeah. Who's it gonna be? Both one and one. Really stretching it out. <laughs> Did 
Did I hear a little bit of launch control on that one? I, I think a little bit. Like it, very brief. I'm not sure I could even call that race. That was very no. we can uh we can we gotta check review. the tape. We can't even call that. that Nobody race. wanted to let off on that one. <laughs> no, that, that was about it. That was about it. Uh, Man. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> What's the takeaway from this? Both of these are running go. very, very good. Very, very good. Yeah. So obviously there's, you know, some factors. I have launch control. Justin doesn't right now. You know, less weight. He's definitely pulling me on the other end as we run out. So car's running good. The important thing is, is Justin could do that back to back about 25 times and he'll never lose power. Yeah. yeah you'll, it, you'll probably start to lose power. I get lucky today because it's still cool out, but when you're in the middle of Glamis or whatever and it's 100 degrees and uh -huh. you're feeling the heat soak, that thing's really gonna start to shine. Absolutely. So, yeah, you can feel it right now that this side right here is warm and this side is cold. Yeah, that's so, pretty awesome. You're, you're pushing cold air into your motor instead of hot air. She's good deal. She's working good, my man. <laughs> <laughs> we're back after the weekend. <laughs> we were going to do more side by side stuff, but there's an eclipse happening. This is crazy, dude. Once every 25,000 years, dude. It's Everybody's nuts. losing their mind. The poles are shifting, things are going crazy. Let's see if we can see this. Um, oh, look at that. Is it working? Wait, in the camera. Did we just discover something? There's no eclipse. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> this is not real. Dude. I thought there was a controversy or something. Dude, eclipses aren't real. Look at that. There's the moon in front of the sun. Supposedly, that's that's what they say at least. No, I'll actually try it with me. See if you is put Nick that. Seuss was putting his finger right here <laughs> over part of it. <laughs> see how it is. I see how it is. Try to put that over there. Let's see. Mike Reed uh, built these. Oh yeah. Uh, in his uh -huh. basement, supposedly. Yep. <laughs> Does that work? Uh, oh, it's in my eyes, too. Hold on, I'm looking for it. Don't look at the sun, Doug. I'm trying. This is actually really hard. Okay, there it is. Wow, it's actually really dark through this. I'm, there's no eclipse again. I don't know again. if you're in the right section. Oh, no, there it is. Right. Oh, there, it is. there it that is. is. Holy tight. smokes. Can we zoom in? It looks like freaking Tatooine, dude, mixed with Pac-Man. You ever seen a thing like that before? <laughs> All right, well, anyways, I think that's it for today. We gotta go. We got we got stuff to do, but Justin's car. We gotta get ready for a uh, trip to the Silver Lake. Yep, ripping good. So uh, he's off to swap that sucker to E85 because he's looking for more power. So next time that comes out, she's gonna be making all the pow pow. Paddle tires on there too. Oh boy, you really going for it. Tires, yeah, yeah. You're telling me, patch out tires? SR31s, to be exact. Oh I my gosh. Maybe, maybe 30. No, I can't just 30. <sighs> These guys are crazy. What All right, gentlemen. Here? Great work. Great work. And uh, thank you guys, as always, for being a part of it, hanging out, watching the eclipse with us, subscribing, donating, buying. This is a special moment, dude. It is. Once every 33,000 years. This is freaking tough. It is. It hey. turns out pretty much everybody in the country can see this, so I don't. No, yeah, if, but we're watching it together. Oh, that's true. That's Unless true. Unless you miss it right now, and then you're watching it after. You're reliving you're it. You're watching history. Yeah, it happened earlier today. But still Whoa. together. You All know right, what we else happens every 33 million years? What's that, man? Race day. Don't forget to come to that. <laughs> May 11th. <laughs> yeah, May 11th. If you want to be a sponsor, get your name on one of those big checks without having to actually race and destroy your machine. You can sponsor that check for the payout. Smart. I think you can do that. I don't know. You got to talk to Mike on it's that. Gonna be, it's going to be but sweet. Big party. We yeah. actually ordered another Eclipse. We're going to have another one May 11th. You can do that? Yeah. Did you order it 33,000 years ago? Yeah. Alibaba, dude. It's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> right. See you guys. Maybe we'll flash back to that right now. Show yeah, them what that looks like. That's what I was getting at. Okay. I'm sorry to take that. Do you want it? you want to say it again? No, and then. They're Maybe seeing, we should flash back those dino runs. Yeah, they're seeing the dino <laughs> runs right now. Joey, good luck editing this. <laughs> I'm <laughs> just trying to figure out why Nick Seuss is so quiet or you're just hiding when we're saying nothing. It's the quietest ever been in months. Look how slippery, slippery this machine is. <laughs> <laughs>
There you go. <laughs>